Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Okie dokie, let's see, where did we leave off? We had a pretty exciting uh, weekend uh, for everyone that missed it. Uh, we are now into golems, so I'm going to explain that. Uh, here's a quick update on the downstairs of the space station. I have uh, a whole bunch of molecular assemblers, one row. Uh, I don't know if I showed this. This is my little brain to the space station, but uh, let's jump straight into golems. That's what I'm super excited to show. So it took me a long time in Thumbcraft and playing Tuesdays and Thursdays at night to get to this point where I can play and try and automate with uh, with golems. So let's see, do I need anything here? I think I have everything ready. Uh, sporting my new Tide Guardian armor. Let's go back to Astral. And let's see, I left two golems up and running while I was at work today. Let's see if they are still automating. That skeleton, I swear, that skeleton moves. It was over there last time. So weird. So here is Bill and Ted. They're having their excellent adventure. <laughs> Let's see. So yeah, we got star metal going. I put in a bunch of iron ore and I chunk loaded. I was expecting there to be more star metal, but let's see, they should be working. We got Bill with uh, the climbing feet or the climbing legs and with the uh, breaker arms and he's got a uh, a thomic mind and the thomic eyes so he levels up and then we got Ted with a uh, with delicate hands also climbing legs so that they can both climb up the uh, the steps that I have here Ted is using a use seal uh, to place iron and then, of course, the collector crystal does all the work turning the iron into uh, star metal. And then when it turns into star metal, that's when Bill goes crazy and breaks all the star metal. So Ted has uh, use, collect, and provide. And Bill only has uh, block breaker. So let me show you the with the Golemancer's Bell real quick. Holding the Golemancer's Bell shows you all of the seals that I put down. So these are the important ones. I have a provide seal uh, with a filter whitelist for iron. So it provides the iron. Under options I have everything off. Priority is one and the requirements are forbidden clumsy. So uh, our one golem that has uh, the block breaker arms, he has clumsy, he won't be able to use the provide, but the other one can. So there's a provide, and then there's a store seal on here as well, with a blacklist of iron ore, so that it doesn't pick up the ore from the provide and immediately store it. I want it to place it, so it's blacklisted iron ore. And then the options, use. I like to unclick the use metadata and use NBT, because it narrows it down when you click this. If you unclick it, it just means any iron ore. Priority two, because uh, the stocking is more important than the placing. And then requirements, of course, are smart. So I'm glad that I used the Thomic Mines for both of these uh, golems. Then I have a, uh, a use seal for each one of these. So you see there's 15 of them in total. Use seals. The use seals have a whitelist for iron ore and these are important. Everything is off except for click empty air because it clicks uh, when it's empty. That's when it selects the air under it. So empty air and request provisioning from whitelist. So it 
requests the iron ore that's on the whitelist that's on the storage crate. Uh, priority of one. Requirements are deft. So that's why uh, uh, Ted, our golem, has the uh, delicate fingers. Uh, and the uh, thomic mind, of course. So, and then in the back, I have a. Uh, it is an area for collect, and an area for uh, block breaker. So this one should be the block breaker. Uh, filtered. It's a whitelist of star metal ore. So when it changes to star metal, then the block breaker goes goes to work. No metadata. No silk touch. Not required. Uh, priority nothing needs breaker and needs to be smart for this to work and then next to it of course is the collect seal uh, filter I have nothing because it just collects everything that's dropped uh, no nothing clicked priority of one uh, requirements can't be clumsy and needs a, a smart brain so uh, one golem has the uh, the thomic head which has the glowing red eyes and the hollow brain cap, uh, delicate hands, and climbing legs. The other one has the same thomic mind, where it has the glowing red eyes and the uh, clear dome for a head, but breaker arms and climbing legs. And this setup is working. I'm very, very happy with it. Very happy. So. Uh, yeah, to reiterate, we got uh, we got Ted placing iron, we got Bill breaking star metal, and we have Ted picking up the star metal and placing it uh, with the uh, store of star metal being a priority of two over placing. So it's it's more important for him to put star metal in the chest than to place iron in the used slots. So this is working. I'm really happy because I was really worried that uh, a lot of people have problems with Gollum. So I was like, oh man, I'm probably going to rack my brain and I'm not going to get this to work. One problem that I found that is kind of weird, it's not really a problem, it's kind of a quirk. Uh, they have cl Since they have climbing legs, I thought it means they get step assist. They actually have the same effect as climbing gloves. They can go up vertical walls. So for randomly, one of them might climb the wall vertically and jump outside. And I don't know why he does that, because everything is set to the inside. Uh, but he wants to. You know, it happens to both of them, and I don't know why. They just, they want to. Uh, so I had to remove some of the slabs because they would go, they would climb out and then they would climb back in but get stuck under the slab. So I got rid of the slabs. So what I wanted to do for this first episode today is set up the new golems. I have uh, name tags ready for Garth, Wayne and Garth. <laughs> Comment below if you know what that reference is from. Oop, I accidentally picked up a star metal. That's fine. I'll put it up. And uh, I have everything that I need to get this ready. So uh, that was the explanation on automating star metal. And this will be the uh, explanation on automating. Uh... Oh man, what's it called? Not, not living wood, the other one. Really? I forgot it. Uh, Batania. Living rock. Yeah, I can't believe that slipped my mind. I had a little little uh, brain fart. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, let's see. We have a collect. The block breaker. I'm going to put the block breaker down, and I, I really hope I'm not going to make any mistakes. So I'm going to put the block breaker down first. Then I'm going to configure it, because I don't want it to just break all blocks. I want to make sure that it uh, only does the uh, the living rock, not everything. I'll put the crate here. So let's see, I need one living rock so I can use it as a whitelist. Let me grab one living rock. And then I also need 
one arcane stone, because that's the two that we're going to work with. All right, and Golemancer's Bell. Uh, so the block breaker. Up, down one. I can see that it's all the way to here. So it needs to go out one more in both directions. So east and west goes out to here. Okay. So now this line works and then now this line works. So now east and west is lined up and I believe let's just go up and down one more just to be safe. So it's up a little higher. So that'll be our block breaker. So let me go to filter and the block breaker is going to whitelist living rock. The options, I'm not going to use metadata. The priority doesn't really matter because this is the only thing that our buddy, uh, this one golem is going to do is breaker. The other one is the one that has to work harder. So now we got breaker down. We need to do a advanced control seeker, uh, advanced control seal store. We'll put the store right here. So this is where they are supposed to store uh, everything that drops. So storing is going to have a, let's see, a blacklist of uh, arcane stone. It's not going to store the arcane stone because it wants to pull it. The, or let's see, store, that'll store everything. Yeah. So options, no NBT, and then priority of two, because I want store to be more important. And then that's going to be the other one. So that should be good now. And we also need a provide, which also will come from the same chest. The provide will be a whitelist of arcane stone. The options, I'm not going to use these. The priority is going to be a one. Requirements is forbidden, clumsy. Okay. And then the rest are going to be use. So let's put some arcane stone down so that we can get our spacing. So there, we got those down. So now we need to put down the collect and I'll put the collect over here on the opposite side. The collect is going to be Let's see, up and down, and then let's see, four and four. That reaches here, and that reaches here as well. So as far as I know, this should be symmetrical, so the same four by four should work. And then I did, well, I could never play a sky block. <laughs> I'd be dead already. Up and down of two. Okay, so this is the collect. So filter is going to whitelist the living rock. The options, no, I'm not going to use those. Priority is going to be a one. And then the requirements are smart, which smart comes from having the biothomic mind. And clumsy is from uh, not using breakers, which the deft hands is also required. So. so now this has changed, but that doesn't matter yet. Now we have 15 control seals of use. These are the ones that I need for each of what we're going to be collecting. There we go. And now we use the Golemancer's bell to click them all in. Okay, we need, so we need a whitelist of arcane stone. The options, I'm gonna unclick these, click empty air and request from provisioning. Priority, doesn't matter. Requirements, deft. That's why he needed delicate hands. 
All right, so let's do that. We need a whitelist. Whitelist of, yeah, of uh, arcane stone. Unclick these. Click empty air. Request from provisioning. Whitelist. Arcane stone. Unclick these. Empty air. Request from prov provisioning. Click empty air and request. And then that one's already done. Cool. So that's all of the seals. Now we just need to put our golems down. Uh, the cool thing is with these golems, because they don't need to climb any surfaces, they're all on a solid surface. I gave them both uni wheels. So they're on one wheel and they're going to be super fast because they, but. The downside is they're going to be faster, but the downside is they can't climb. But that's why this is great. This is a solid one level surface. They don't need to climb, so they can be super fast. So let me put this guy here, and then he's probably going to immediately start. So here you go. Go down. Why are you not? What? <laughs> Seriously? Okay, let's see if relogging has fixed the problem. Let's see if I can right click this guy down now. There we go. And there goes block breaker, buddy. Breaking blocks. So I have a feeling that the block breaker makes most sense to be Wayne. Good job, Wayne. And then, yeah, Wayne's going to be over there. And then, Garth, I'm going to put you here. You're going to be the hard worker. And you're going to be near the chest. So there you go, buddy. You get to pick stuff up. Nice. Placing it. Oh, no. Did this click out of, the, out of range? OK, so there's the collect needs to be extended. The collect seal needs to be a little bit bigger. There you go. Good job, buddy. And let's give you... Wait, what? I could have sworn I just gave him Garth. Okay, well, the other way around is, is good too. Garth and Wayne. So one thing that I need to check now to make sure is let's grab some arcane stone and put it in here and make sure that the provisioning works. Yeah. Yes, it is working. The only bummer, which it's not really that bad, is that when golems are holding items, it... Uh, it gives the block render placeholder that purple and black, unfortunately. Let's watch them go. These uni wheels are pretty sweet. Oh my god, he fell! No! <laughs> no! You fell to your death. Was it Wayne? Of course it... No? Yeah, it was Garth. Of course it was Garth, right? Ugh. So I'll have to make another... <laughs> I'll have to make another Garth. And then I'll have to figure something out, something safer, so that Garth doesn't go flying off the wall <laughs> dying. But yeah, that's what I wanted to show y'all. Uh, I'm glad I got the vision module back. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Like, I got some of the things back, but uh, the most expensive item is the biothomic 
the biothomic mind because you have to do infusion crafting for it and it requires a complex arcane mechanism and a clockwork mind that's the most expensive thing to make it's more not not really expensive it's more or less uh tedious to make but it was working <laughs> it was working until garth fell off of his tricycle or unicycle unicycle <laughs> so with that this is successful automating star metal automating uh the living rock if you put this on floor level you don't have to worry about them falling to their death so thank you so much for for watching and i hope you enjoyed the show